In this video, we're going to compare and order fractions with different denominators. Here are the examples that we will look at in this video. Which fraction is greater? 3 quarters or 5 eighths? You might think 5 eighths because 5 and 8 are both larger numbers, but this would be incorrect. The first thing we need to do is find a common denominator. To do this, we need to find their lowest common multiple. So let's have a look at some multiples of 4 and 8. I can see that 8 is the lowest common multiple. So we can make both the denominators 8. To get 8, we need to multiply 4 by 2. So we also need to multiply the numerator by 2. 3 times 2 is 6. As the second fraction already has 8 as its denominator, we don't need to do anything. So now that the denominators are the same, we can compare the fractions. Let's have a look at these fractions side by side. We have 3 quarters, or 6 eighths, and 5 eighths. We can see that 6 eighths is greater than 5 eighths which means 3 quarters is greater than 5 eighths. So 3 quarters is greater than 5 eighths. Let's have another go. Which fraction is greater? 2 thirds or 7 ninths? Remember, to compare the fractions, we need to make sure the denominators are the same. So let's look at the multiples of 3 and 9 and see what the lowest common one is. I can see that 9 is the lowest common multiple, so I can make both the denominators 9. We need to multiply 3 by 3 to make 9, so we also need to multiply the numerator by 3. 2 times 3 is 6. As the second fraction already has 9 as the denominator, it can stay the same. So now that the denominators are the same, we can compare the fractions. Let's have a look at these fractions side by side. 2 thirds, or 6 ninths, and 7 ninths. We can see that 7 ninths is greater. So 2 thirds is less than 7 ninths. Now it's your turn to have a go. Which fraction is greater, 2 fifths or 6 tenths? Remember, we need to make the denominators the same to be able to compare them. So let's have a look at the multiples of 5 and 10 and find the lowest common multiple. I can see that 10 is the lowest common multiple. So we can make both the denominators 10. What do we need to multiply 5 by to make 10? Multiply the numerator by that number to find the equivalent fraction. Pause the video to give yourself time to work out the answer. Press play when you're done. So we multiply 5 by 2 to get 10. So we also need to multiply the numerator by 2. 2 times 2 is 4. So now that we have the same denominators, we can compare the fractions. Let's have a look at these fractions side by side. 2 fifths, or 4 tenths, and 6 tenths. We can see that 6 tenths is greater. So 2 thirds is less than 7 ninths. We're going to put these fractions in order from smallest to largest. To do this, we need to find a common denominator, which will be a multiple of all of these denominators. Let's have a look at some of the multiples of these denominators. We can see that 8 is the lowest common multiple. Pause the video to give yourself time to work out the answer. Press play when you're done. We need to multiply 4 by 2 to get 8. 
so we also need to multiply the numerator by 2. 2 times 2 is 4. As 7 eighths already has 8 as its denominator, we don't need to change this fraction. We need to multiply 2 by 4 to get 8. So we also need to multiply the numerator by 4. 1 times 4 is 4. Then we need to multiply 4 by 2 to get 8. So we also need to multiply the numerator by 2. 3 times 2 is 6. So now that these fractions have the same denominators, we can compare them. Let's have a look at these fractions side by side. 2 quarters 7 eighths 1 half and 3 quarters. So we can see that we have two fractions here which are the smallest. 2 quarters and 1 half. The next smallest fraction is 3 quarters. And the fraction which is the greatest is 7 eighths. So now we can put them in order. 